it's time to celebrate because bizarre has uploaded this would be scary comp version 92 and originally i thought maybe version 100 might happen this year around october but the fact that it's june and we're on 92 and his upload schedule has been like every three weeks i'm i don't know if you actually get to 100 by the end of this year i'm still saying october but parts of my feelings believe it might be in february what do you think women this is what you have to do so how easy it was for me to drink some water you could do it too instead of having your girl breakfast or your girl lunch or your girl dinner of like fucking strawberry acai or some from starbucks or five cups of coffee then complain about headaches or how you feel sick or you feel this men drink okay a bottle of these a day i guaranteed a lot of the situations you have and things you feel will go away if you just have one of these a day women this is scary comp version 92. let's just get into it before i get yelled at in the comment section on may 10th of 2024 a small family okay. gets together to celebrate someone's birthday as with any birthday celebration, the traditional happy birthday song is sung by everyone there. However, it would be during this festive party that something very strange happens. According to Brookie Diaz, the birthday girl, there hasn't been a day where she hasn't thought about this incident. What happened on her birthday will forever linger in her head. It's uh -oh. around 9 p.m. when this is captured. Take a look. Happy birthday, dear friend. Bricky. No. <laughs> yep. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Make a wish. Make a wish. And many more. Right. <laughs> Woo! <Almost>. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jackie. Ja All right, I thought if the candle went back on. I'm like, well. I'm taking a Oh, for God. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to know the details. All right, here, honey. Oh this a girl's got to have a present. This is Aww, from my, from me. Yeah. Did you know? How cute. <laughs> Should we touch this? Yeah. Jackie, press its paws. In the hood? No way. I just hear sirens. The hood part of my ear just heard sirens only. Oh, yeah. That is not worth. That is not worth. Somehow, a toy fire truck goes off right when the family Ooh, listens wow. to dad's message. Now, this fire truck isn't just a random toy, but a collectible that the father cherished. Considering that this went off at the same time, they can't help but think that dad was reaching out to them. Whether or not this might have been a coincidence remains uncertain. However, it's the following video taken only a week oh. later that leaves Brookie and her family completely baffled. Brookie's lying in bed, trying her best to record the following. I just missed a call. A call? A call from my dad. He's been gone. Like, I just heard his voice one more time.
brother. Ooh. Ooh. It's because of this incident that Brookie believes her father had been present. She took it as a sign that her dad was reassuring her that he was still there, even though she had missed the opportunity to talk to him. Whether or not he was actually on the line is unknown, but nevertheless, it was already strange to hear the teddy bear with his voice talking at this moment. While this occurrence was already baffling enough, something happens only days later that leaves her extremely unnerved. Now the following incident, as she believes, had nothing to do with her father. Whatever happened oh. that night, according to her, made her feel immensely terrified, which she knows her father would never do. Mm -hmm. It's late at night when this is captured. Door opening. You must see a fucking finger go like that to the door. I'm punching my camera. Brother. I don't really hear footsteps. Now this particular video is something that Brookie doesn't like talking about, and for good reason. She was so shaken by this incident that talking about it now brings up strong emotions for her. Although knowing that posting this video wouldn't help, she hopes that someone could explain what happened. While some believe it might have been her dad's spirit reaching out, she believes it was something else. That night, she was overcome with a sense of dread, the likes of which she had never felt before. So understandably, she would rather talk about the pleasant moments that were caught on camera. Mm -hmm. At least these help her to cope with the passing of her father. These moments serve to remind her that despite being gone, her dad will always be there. As with all videos, this one remains a mystery. Oof! Can't even talk. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk. Yeah, that's pretty much I can say. Um, uh, one thing I comment about the last thing. I'm not gonna comment about the first stuff. Uh, Insidious, the movie. Sometimes it's shown. I think I'm not. I don't remember the series too damn well. But it's like the father was in his trance where he entered the whole spirit realm, shadow realm, Yu-Gi-Oh type shit. And sometimes new spirits become like a beacon where spirits tend to follow. And maybe because her father recently passed that because he's trying his best to alert her, letting her know that, hey, I'm good. I'm well. Don't worry about me. I'm here with you. Maybe because of stuff like that, maybe something kind of walked in. I'm like, oh, okay. This is fresh. Uh, I want to say hi. So those are my thoughts. Maybe because since it's more fresh and he's actively trying his best to continue trying to make his presence known, maybe some spirits are drawn to that type of like power of a freshly uh spirit is using trying to get the attention maybe something attaches to that i don't know reminds me of like this insidious so number seven on a wednesday afternoon a man rushes to his basement to record something that just happened bro WD-40, my friend, WD-40. He just heard footsteps on the staircase, but this was strange as no one had been in the basement. 
So, he takes this video, hoping to capture what often happens when no one is down there. This is what was caught. With all Take them look. toys and that type of design, I won't be in the basement either. Is that like a toy basement? If that globe moves, there's a vent there too? Is that a pig? I have so many questions. The dolls. The truck. I thought that was like the pig from Seven Deadly Sins anime. So there's a toy room basement. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. Nah, that fucking doll right there in the middle, top left. That could catch a bullet real quick. Oh, I think we used to have that uh, Disney princess thing. Not not me. I was thinking my sister. Oh, shit. They were in Bach of Beethoven. Dark room. Brother, if you don't throw a Molotov in that basement and just call it a day. Oh, my. oh bitch. <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> that fucking scared me. I got oh, my God. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, you got <sighs> good. Yeah, daughter gone. Uh, I had to take a breather. I had to look down for two seconds. Jeez. <laughs> Did he just get hit by the door? Out of nowhere, a toy ball seemingly throws itself at the man. Its sudden movement was enough to make him shut the door and stop the recording at once. What happened afterward is unknown, but based on the few details that were given, it's clear that the man and his family have kept away from this basement. Although lacking sufficient context, the video itself still holds up as being pretty creepy. And I fucking talk about the damn globe. I said that, that globe moves and I called it. But the thing I'm confused about is he doesn't show the bottom of the stairs. He doesn't show the bottom of the stairs. As in, like, going back up. So I don't know if there's any gaps. And maybe a third child. Third child? There's only one child. Second child, or maybe a second person involved that could just, like, take it and try to throw it. But then it curved. A lot of unknowns. Let me just look, let me just watch it one more time. <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. This next footage was posted 10 years ago, making it by far the oldest video on this list. But even so, this video continues to unsettle viewers. Those who've seen it, which very few have, is can't a fucking kid in the background? Was captured. No. In it, a woman is seen dancing it. by herself at her party when suddenly something in the background is caught on camera. It's a ghost, and this it. is what was caught. Oh my god, that oh damn, that's at the <laughs> Galaxy 2. I called it. It's a kid. You got Flash, Barry Allen. <laughs> Strangely, a small child just disappears while climbing up the stairs. It happens quickly, almost too quickly, that it seems like something ghostly was caught on tape. But even stranger is that no children were present at the party, 
or at least that's what the person who took this video claims. If no children had been there, then who was this? But most importantly, Barry Allen. how exactly did they vanish in just a matter of seconds? Like most videos, there has yet to be a definitive answer to this question. Yep, Barry Allen. In the following video, a man leaves his house before heading over to his car. At first, it appears that the video is nothing more than just random footage of a man leaving his home. Okay. While it may seem like that, it's what happens later that left him and his family completely unnerved. Now, this footage was posted by the man's wife, who's known as Lisa Miller. Both she and her husband have a small family that live in the suburbs. But this small family was recently made smaller, as Lisa had just lost her father. Oh. It isn't clear as to how he passed, well, still, but she'll but... always remember him for whistling all the time. As Lisa mentions, he would always tell her to whistle if she ever needed him. Although she can't do that now, this recording has shown her that she doesn't have to. According to Lisa, it appears that he hasn't left. This is what was caught. Not trying to be heartless. I thought a child, you know. I mean, trying to figure out keys. I know the feeling, man. I know the feeling. The sound of someone whistling is heard clear as day on camera. Despite being yeah, quite it, loud, it appears that Lisa's husband didn't hear the whistle. But whether he had heard it or not doesn't matter to Lisa. The camera had caught it, and that alone has given her sufficient evidence to believe that her father is I'm sorry, here. you can't hear Although my whistle. she has yet to come up with an explanation, she prefers not to, as what was captured has helped her grieve over his death. Yeah. So then, just who or what had whistled? Her dad. Out of respect, since yesterday was Sunday for me, and it was Father's Day, my critique is nothing. It was her father. On the night of September 2nd of 2020, a father walks into his daughter's room to see if she's okay. It was just then that he heard her screaming for help. Naturally, he runs over to check on her. Of course. But when he gets there, this happens. She's not there. What's the matter? I, I, uh, I just, I just want to sleep with you now. Uh, no questions. All right, let's go. terrified his daughter. Although initially thinking that perhaps this might have been a night terror she was having, her parents couldn't shake the feeling that something real had scared her. Never had they ever seen their child this terrified. So, out of curiosity, they checked the footage taken from that night to see if anything odd stands out. At first glance, nothing obvious catches their attention. But after what? looking closely, they see it. Either someone or something had been inside their daughter's room. Nope. What's the matter? Now it's hard to see where this mysterious figure is at, but according to the mother, it appears at her bedside. A face, presumably that of a woman's, appears for a few seconds before disappearing. Frame by frame, and that face right there is what popped up. But here is a close up. Um, okay, I see. Right there, mouth, you can clearly see nose the lips, and an eye, the teeth, the nose, and then the, the eye, eye the eyebrow, eyebrow, and then the, the hair. Hair. You can't tell me that that's not a face. The parents believe. We that got this good vision. The reason why their child was afraid. Now it's a bit hard to see at first. No, I see it. Can somewhat be made out. No, I see it. Although recorded a few years ago, the ghost got bad bitch eyebrows. What appeared in this footage. To this day, this video continues to baffle them. Now this next video comes from Brenna Logan, who states that her sister had once worked at a children's center where something very strange happened. Oh, According no. to her, the center was a place for kids of all ages, Super including those who like to play music. It was pretty much a mix between a music school and a daycare center, which not many children went to for a couple of reasons. But the biggest reason was that they were scared. Children would often tell workers that a really mean guy was inside the play tunnel for kids. But of course, no one would be there. 
Other times, daycare staff would find toys misplaced, even though no one had been inside. Now, eventually, the daycare had shut down when COVID hit. But during okay. this time, the owners had set up cameras to watch over the place in case anyone tried to break in. Although no one did, they did capture something three that has left them oh, pretty three eight, oh, The following yeah, okay. is their footage. Watch. Oof. I thought it was 3 a.m. The thing rocking violently. And that's violent too. It's not like a so like a breeze. That's like someone actually moving it. A ball. Let me guess chair next. It's a, a guy playing with the ball in a chair. Oh, ask it. It's gonna get tossed over. Nah, he knows where the camera's at. It now makes sense as to why nominee kids wanted to come here. Yeah. From things moving on their own to a strange white ball moving with a mind of its own. This place, as employees claim, is haunted. Mm -mm. Now, regardless of the video, Brenna's sister firmly believes this. She no longer works there, but still vividly remembers the creepy experiences she's had while working there. Despite not having footage of these spooky encounters, Brenna doesn't think her sister was just making things up. She believes her, and she believes that whatever was caught on camera is something that will continue to remain a mystery. The user are the type of footage where it's kind of hard for me to try to whatever. I mean, at the end of the day, it's property that they own. And on top of that, it's closed property, meaning things can be fake. Things can be uh, pre-planned, whatever. Yes, no, yes. You know, it's a whole bunch of maybes. But this is a camera where you basically see maybe 80% of everything. The thing in the middle, it's visible and it's moving. You see a ball out of frame move and it moves multiple times. Again, there could be a device inside the ball where they could guide it with the little remote control. Same thing, true. But then you have the bucket. Maybe a string pulley system could be this. There's so yes, there's so many ways to explain it. But with all those things happening all basically almost all at once. This is footage where it makes you like. All right, my skeptic brain can't really formulate every single situation that has happened. If you caught something creepy on camera or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. Yup. That being said, let's get back to the video. Let's get back. Number this next two. Video was taken inside a house where apparently something pretty creepy was Armadillo on brother? camera. Now the person who took this owns not only this house, but a multitude of dogs. Each pet, according to them, Heaven. is deeply cared for as they can help but treat their dogs like children. However, of just like kids, do it. there are moments when they do things that make them feel spooked. Whether oh. it's staring at an empty space or growling at something that isn't there, they act in ways that are very peculiar. This is something that the owner has tried to ignore or pass off as something normal. But after encountering the following incident, they now believe that something else is going on. In the following video, the owner is alone at home when this is captured. Hear it? Knock, just knock, knock, knock. It's like on the glass too, so it's like kind of hard. Yeah. Huh. 
Happens all the time. Now this wouldn't be the first time something like this has happened. It was just then that he was able to capture what both he and his wife had been experiencing. These knockings don't seem to have a common source, as they happen randomly throughout the house. On one occasion, the man's wife is alone at home, when suddenly she captures this. Okay, I'll have the explanation towards okay. the end. It just happened again and the dogs are freaked out. But that's clever. Get it. David, come over here. Get it. That's an arcanine right, right there. Open that door you need to get him oh my god i don't know if it's gonna happen again it just happened again you got clifford <laughs> oh. why she run like a move, dying light character move, move. there if a knock happens now oh the dog stopped barking now Davy's freaking out by the door though if a knock would have happened when she was like pulling the camera outside no no questions just like before, the source of these knocks is nowhere to be found. It isn't surprising to the couple that they can't see who or what is knocking. They believe that it's something supernatural. Given the strange behavior exhibited by their dogs, as well as other odd experiences they've had, it only makes sense to them that something unexplainable is happening. But like all videos, this incident remains elusive. Just what exactly did the couple get on camera? So earlier in the knocking of the daytime footage, I thought I had a reason behind it, but no, it, 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 I kind of contradict myself because when he opened the door, it stopped. Typically when it's like winter time, fall time, older homes have older piping systems, whatever. It's like how bridges, if you live in urban areas or you live in city areas like New, Jer New Jersey, New York, uh, Chicago, I'm not too sure what other states have bridges, California, uh, California and so on the beams that supports the bridge are kind of like this and that's because when it's hot you know obviously molecules tend to work faster so it expands but when it's cold the metal tend to go like this because since it's slowing down the molecules it starts to shrink this is free science, just whatever, uh, $10. Since I'm seeing this fall and winter, doorknob is metal. Older house possibility, maybe cold air mixing with if they have central heating can cause hot air to conflict with cold air. Obviously that's kind of how tornadoes are formed too, with a, you know, a mass amount of hot air with a mass amount of cold air swirls around, causes a tornado. That's how it's done. But more science, 15 bucks now. But when you have an older home that you have your central heating or you have your space heaters or whatever, how you heat up your home, when you have that heat applying to, you know, hitting your walls, hitting metal objects around your home, and you have the outside cold air seeping in or hitting your home or hitting other ways to enter your home, metal piping constantly goes like this. The metal piping constantly goes like this. It it expands and then it shrinks. It expands and it shrinks. It expands and it shrinks. And sometimes with that, the rubbing of the metal sometimes creates knocking noises. When it's winter time here in my home, I have a space heater in my bedroom. New Jersey barely ever has central heating for apartments. And I hear knocking a lot. But I know for a fact it is the pipes 
because cold air and hot air are hitting each other. My room is hot and the heat is going a little bit to the wall. And then in front of my bedroom is my foyer of the entrance of my apartment. That all, that room over there is cold. So hot air and cold air is hitting my wall, causing metal pipes to expand and shrink, expand and shrink, causing docking noises. Call me Rick Nye, the science guy. Number one. Now this next segment features two videos. All both scary. Of which have something in common. In the first clip, which comes from Casey Lee, I'm a peg four file. That to this day gives her goosebumps whenever she thinks about it. Well, that book. Particular night, Casey was having a few drinks at her house. Oh yeah, wine. Feeling a bit tipsy, she begins to talk out loud. She speaks as if Chris, her deceased husband, was still around. Oh, she Despite drunk. being gone, she talks to him as though he were there. What happens next? Chills her to the core. Oh, look at little bullies. Watch. I'm bullies, pities. It's. Chris, please watch over Boston. Daddy's got you, okay? I'll make sure you're okay. She's sure not. I'm okay too. She's not talking. Oh, oh. <laughs> that. <laughs> Oh my f God, I couldn't have timed that any better. I hope those scammers pick that up. That's not her talking to herself and talking like he's still there. That's grief. That's insane. <laughs> the light flickers as if letting her know that he's listening. Aside from flickering at the right time, it flickers not once, but twice, which viewers believe is a sign that it wasn't a problem with the electricity. Even before this, the dogs appear to sense someone familiar. Understandably, this footage never fails to bring Casey to tears. But as if this wasn't already sentimental enough, the following video captures this. Josie Sanchez is alone at home when something happens that prompts her to take out her phone. Do it again, Dad. Do it again, Dad. Do it again. Flip the light. Wait, was Chris hurt? It was her dad that passed. Flip the light, Dad. Just like the video prior, Josie believes that this was a sign. Her dad, according to okay. her, was reaching out by flickering the light. As with Casey's footage, many viewers feel that something supernatural had happened. But as always, I'll let you come up with your own judgment. Just what exactly was caught on camera? Those are instances where if you are a skeptic, shut the fuck up and let them live in that moment. It's her dad. Not gonna try to explain anything. Her dad. That's all I can say. Her dad. I don't have any reasoning. That's. I have. There's nothing for me to find. There's nothing for me to investigate. There's nothing for me to even try to. Try to say maybe it's this. Nope. I have zero rights to that. It's her dad. Simple as that. Those were eight stories. From Bizarre Bub. I'm starting to like this because I'm starting to get stories I have not seen yet. Because typically, you will see repeats, and I haven't gotten a repeat yet. Maybe when it comes to the third person who uploads, because we had one person, we had Sir Spooks, and we had Bizarre Bub. Maybe when the third person uploads, it may be a few repeats. If not, God bless America. But I think on that note, we're done with Bizarre Bub's video. This was good. There's a few things that deal with fathers, which I think I understand because one, this was uploaded on a Sunday, which was Father's Day. And I believe I have no rights to critique those videos specifically. I didn't access on the last video, which was from Sir Spooks. I accessed on, on my series with 66. And my question is, 
do I go find some of these original investigations? Like, for example, from Xiaolong, which is an amazing Chinese investigator that basically always yells at ghosts saying, fuck your mother. That's literally all he says. So do I go ahead and watch those full investigations? So the same part, you know, bits and pieces of it on Luke's top five or Urban X Hills from the thing last video. Instead of me watching Urban X Hills on Nukes or on Sir Spooks or on Bazaar, should I just go ahead on Urban X's channel and watch this full investigation? Let me know. I do enjoy doing these videos, but I think it'd be kind of cool if I actually watch the full investigation, get a little bit more of that eeriness and tension being you no know, built up. I mean, I could probably do it in parts for TikToks as in, you know, the first 10 minutes or yeah, if the video is 50 minutes, then I just break it down to like nine minute clips, like nine and a half minute clips and just upload them on TikTok. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think, what I should do. Maybe I should live stream those reactions, but keep the nukes, sir spooks and bizarre, the strictly recordings, but me watching the investigations, I could just upload the highlights here while, while just streaming the investigations of Urban X, Xiaolong, and Hito, which is, uh, I forgot the name for the Japanese investigators. Okay, about Toki. So I could watch those people live, make highlights, upload on YouTube, uh, but the actual compilations of the ghost videos or the scary videos and you know, record them 100% only on YouTube. Let me know your thoughts on that. But as always, love your faces and I'm out. Peace.